Hi, welcome to SA Insight. My name is Dumelo Mara and in today's episode, we are going to be looking at top 10 biggest dams in South Africa. Today we are looking and diving into the world of water infrastructure as we explore the top 10 biggest dams in South Africa. From their magnificent sizes to their crucial roles in water supply and electricity generation, these dams are true engineering marvels. So without further ado, let's get started on this wet and wild journey. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the Loskop Dam. Located in Pumalanga, this concrete gravity dam stands tall at a height of 92 meters and has a capacity of over 347 million cubic meters. Besides its primary function of water storage, the Loskop Dam also provides recreational opportunities and attracting nature enthusiasts and anglers. Moving on to number 9, we have the Clan William Dam. Situated on the Oliphants River in the Western Cape, this arc dam spans an impressive 1,116 meters and has a storage capacity of approximately 340 million cubic meters. The Clan William Dam not only supplies water for irrigation but also serves as a popular spot for water sports and fishing. Coming in at number 8, the Woodstock Dam. Located in KwaZulu-Natal, this rock-filled dam stretches across the Mzinyati River and has a capacity of around 361 million cubic meters. The Woodstock Dam not only supports agriculture in the region but also provides a serene setting for camping and recreational activities. Next up is the Blomhof Dam grabbing the number 8 spot on our list. Situated in the Val River in the Northwest Province, this massive dam spans approximately 116 kilometers and has a storage capacity of over 1.25 billion cubic meters. Apart from water supply, the Blomhof Dam offers a serene background for boating and bird watching. Moving along to number 6, we have the Middleback Dam, located in Pumalanga. This earth-filled dam has a height of 34 meters and a storage capacity of about 48 million cubic meters. The Middleback Dam serves as a vital source of water for irrigation and supports the agricultural activities in this region. At number 5, we have the Hazelmere Dam. Situated in KwaZulu-Natal, this earth-filled dam has a height of 43 meters and a storage capacity of over 138 million cubic meters. The Hazelmere Dam not only supplies water for various purposes but also boasts a nature reserve that is home to a diverse range of floral and fauna. Our number 4 spot goes on the Garib Dam, also known as the Hendrik Van Wyk Dam. This colossal dam situated in the Orange River between the Free State and Eastern Cape provinces is the largest in South Africa with a staggering capacity of over 5.3 billion cubic meters. The Garib Dam provides water for irrigation, hydroelectric power generation and recreational activities like fishing and boating. Moving on to the lucky number 3, we have the Three Water Sleuth Dam. How ironic. Located in the Western Cape, this earth-filled dam spans about 4,537 meters and has a capacity of over 480 million cubic meters. The Three Water Tluf Dam plays a crucial role in supplying water for agriculture and is also a popular destination for sailing and windsurfing. Coming up at number 2 is the Van der Kloof Dam, situated in the Orange Farm River in the Northern Cape. This concrete arc dam stands at a height of 108 meters and has a capacity of over 3.16 billion cubic meters. The Van der Kloof Dam not only provides water for irrigation but also contributes to hydroelectric power generation. Finally, our top spot goes to the Val Dam. Located in the Free State and Gauteng provinces, this massive concrete gravity dam spans over 30 kilometers and has a capacity of more than 2.5 billion cubic meters. The Val Dam is a crucial water source for Johannesburg and its surrounding areas, supporting industries and agriculture and urban water supply. And that wraps up our exciting countdown of the top 10 biggest dams in South Africa. These remarkable structures demonstrate the country's commitment to efficient water management and suitable development. 
I know our country has a lot of problems like load shedding and water management. So please comment down below and tell me your thoughts about our country's water supply and because we had a cholera outbreak in Pretoria. Thanks for joining us on this wet and wild adventure. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your fellow explorers. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. Peace.